Hello, and welcome back to the news reports on the SLC channel. I'm your host, John O'Brien. And I'm Diana Joyce. Today's story is on the lightest, nor is it a nil of thing matter. A new affliction plays our youth, the abuse of a new drug. Propelled by the stars earlier this year, the substance has been making rounds all over the country, and especially here in Sarla. From ham and cheese to mozzarella paninis, the epidemic is at large. Our woman on land, Lucy Chabet, is on the case. I'm here, in the heart of the city, and you can see sandwiches everywhere. The situation gets even more worrisome when you know that sandwiches have already claimed the lives of over 50 teenagers. Here, in Sala, access to sandwiches is fast and easy. However, police have been swiftly following the money cartels in order to catch them in the act and put a stop to the addiction. We have succeeded in getting in contact with some of the sandwich dealers. Um, when did you start to sell sandwiches? I started uh, about two years ago with over here, not a lot of people knew about sandwiches at the time. I've been there of red uh, thieves. I've been a lot. How much do you sell sandwiches? We sell them individually or uh, by tens for larger orders. Uh, we have the standard, you know, like cheese and <laughs> they're right here. That's like four or five euros, but if you want other stuff, well, that's gonna cost you more like up to 10 euros, but it's gonna be a better f***ing sandwich, you know. Do you consume sandwiches on your own? Uh, no, not really. I used the two a lot, but I stopped. That is way too dangerous for me. No, no. Yeah, I got some sandwiches too, but only the high quality ones. Like, the other ones are way too bad. They make me feel sick. In Sala, where the epidemic is at its strongest, cartels have sized storefronts and converted them into selling points. Sandwich shops have been spotted all over the city grounds, trying to stay clear of police intervention. Police have been on the case for two months, and hopefully, the sandwich crisis will come to a close. In other news, butchers have gone on strike, citing a peak in meat demand after the ongoing train strike. Perigord geese are also teaming up and joining work unions. But before that, the weather with James Winter. See you soon.